Good morning, my students. In today's lesson, we will explain the difference between the past simple versus the past continuous. Let's begin together. First, the past tenses. I have past simple, but the past simple is an action that began and finished in the past. Okay, so the action that began and finished in the past. Like when I say I lived in New York two years, so it's finished. I came, I, I went to another place. He met us at the station, so that's old, it's finished. He shut the window, switched off the light and went upstairs. upstairs. It's finished action, or maybe a series of events in the past. What about the past continuous? In the past continuous, like I was writing a letter to my friend from 5 to 6 on Saturday or Sunday, they were playing football at 5 yesterday, mother was cooking dinner while I was doing my English homework. I'm speaking about what? Progress in the past. So, progress, something takes continuous in the past, an action that takes time in the past. For example, from 5 to 6, so there is a continuous from 5 to 6. Uh, at 5 yesterday, so I give specific time yesterday. If I say yesterday only, so I put it in the past simple. But when I give specific time in the past, I use the past continuous. Okay. I lived in New York two years. Means that, like this, in 2015 to 2017, and I change it now. So, I lived in New York. This is a post action and it finished in the post. Now, I live, for example, in London. So, finished action or series of actions in the post. It finished already. It's finished. What about this? He shut up the window and then switched off the light. and went downstairs. So what do you think about this? Are they finished action or series of actions in the post? They are series of actions in the post. So that's why I use the post simple. The post continues. If I have mom was cooking while I was doing my homework. So are they finished action or they stimulate action in the post or parallel actions in the post? They are stimulate news actions in the post, which means parallel action in the post. There is no interruption. Mom was cooking and I was doing. No one interrupts the, the other or no one stops the other. Why the action was in progress sometimes or something happened in the middle and interrupted it. Huh, what do you think? So, like this one, I was cycling in the evening when suddenly, so when suddenly it's after it, a man stepped on my way. So it's an interrupted action. Something stopped me. So that's why I put it in the post simple. So there was an action, a continuous action. I was cycling in the evening and then suddenly, a man stepped on my way. So this is an interrupted action. So progress in the post and then interrupted action. So it's interrupted action, the second one. The formation of the post simple, I say I add ED or D or IED in the regular verbs and the irregular verbs I it changed com completely like go is going to be went come came make meet run ran ride rode by boat teach taught eat ate and so on all the irregular verbs what about the form of the past continuous I put with you or we or they I put where plus verb plus ing and with I or he or she or it I put was plus the verb with ing so also the negative form with I do I put didn't and then the infinitive 
and in the past continuous I put weren't or wasn't also ing in the verb in the question form I put did at the beginning and then the, the verb in the infinitive and in the past continuous I put where or was and then the subject and then the ing let's have some exercise together Orangu and Pinky when someone Pinky. So I have two actions here. One takes time, was in progress, and someone interrupted it. So I'll say Orangu and Pinky were cuddling when someone took Pinky. So it's an interrupted action. The post continues plus post simple to describe an interrupted action in the post. What about this one? The driver, Pinky, in a cooler and what her to his truck. What do you think? Do we have a progress action? Of course not. So they are con they are continue not continuous action, series of actions happen together. Like for example, I shut the window, went downstairs, and went to work, for example. So they are series of actions. So the driver huh, put Pinky in a cooler and carried her to his truck to describe a series of actions or series of events. Okay, what about this one? After he took Pinky, after he took, uh, sorry, uh, Pinky, yes, after the driver took Pinky. So while the driver, his truck, Orangu to save Pinky. What do you think about these two actions? They are parallel actions. No one interrupts the other. So while the drivers was starting his truck, Orangu was running to save Pinky. They are parallel. They are happening at the same time. So we use the post continuous and then the other part post continuous to discuss two actions that happen at the same time in the post. They are parallel action. No one interrupted the other. What about what happened after this? The driver when Orangio clanked to the window. What do you think about this one? Huh? The driver was driving when he so it's an interrupted action. So the driver was driving when he so. Orangu. So this interrupted it. What happened after this? So when he saw Pinky, he interrupted. He was interrupted. So what happened? Pinky, the brake and the truck control. So series of actions. What happened? Hold the brake and the truck lost control series of actions in the post all at the same time there is no interruption no one interrupted but they are series of actions in the post what happened after this while they from pool to pool the driver them hmm what do you think about this while they were jumping from pool to pool the driver was following them so they are parallel action no one interrupted they were jumping and he was following they were jumping and he was following no one interrupted the other and then what happened after this the driver orangu and pinky so suddenly so it's an action. Huh? The driver did what? Code Orangu and Pinky. Code is the, the post of catch. So he did this immediately. 
then at, at, as you see in the picture huh, the driver control of his truck and into the sea so the driver series of actions lost control of the truck and he and sorry Then what happened after this? Rang you on the clothes line when Seagull him. So Rang you was doing something and Seagull interrupted him. So Rang you was sitting on the clothes line when Seagull what grabbed him. So it's interrupted him, stopped him, grabbed him. Okay, thank you my students. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today.